Welcome to your additional lesson for functions and modeling over significant digits. And significant digits is a different type of way to round. So more times than not, we are used to rounding to a certain decimal place. We'll be rounding to the nearest tenths, which means one decimal place, one digit after that point, or the hundredths, which is two decimal places, or sometimes even the thousandths place, which are three decimal places, or it will just tell, tell you round to the nearest two decimals, you know, so that means the hundredths place. On rare occasion, we are rounding to a, a whole number. I know one question specifically wants us to round to the nearest hundreds, um, but more times than not, it's gonna be a decimal place, which means we need one decimal, two decimal, or three decimals after that. Now, whether we are rounding to a certain a decimal or place value, or we are rounding to a significant digit, here's our rules for rounding. So if the digit one step to the right from the rounding digit is zero, one, two, three, or four, so four or lower, we're gonna round down or keep that number. If the digit one step to the right of the rounding digit is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, so five or higher, we're gonna round up. So the difference is, is it, four or less, we keep it the same or round down, or is it five or more, we're gonna round it up. So before we even get into significant digit, let's just round, let's just round these first two right here to the nearest four decimal places, which would be the 10 thousandths place. So after that decimal place, we're gonna start counting. Let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit. Refocus, all right, so. After this decimal place is where we start counting. So we've got one, two, three, four. This three right here is in the fourth decimal place. So now I need to look one step to the right, the digit behind it, which is that seven. Because the number behind it is a seven, that three is gonna round up to a four. So rounding to four decimal places, you can put zero point, or you really don't need that zero in front but we would have zero, zero, six, and then that three turns to a four because of that seven. Okay, notice everything before that three isn't rounding up, it's not changing. It's that fourth one we've got to figure out, is it staying the same, which means rounding down, or is it rounding up, going up to the next digit? So same thing here, this 20 does not count because we're counting places after this decimal. So now we have one, two, three, four, it's this three again, but this time the number behind that three is four or less. So we're gonna round down, meaning we're gonna keep this three the same. So this would become 20.0513. Okay, so now let's kind of go back and figure out what these numbers would be rounded to four significant digits. And let me get a different color here. Okay, when we round to significant digits, and if you have to take any science classes, you are more than likely going to have to round to significant digits. It says each of the digits of the number that are used to express it to the required degree of ac accuracy, big part here, starting from the first non-zero digit. So when I round to four significant digits, how this one's always four decimals behind, these aren't always going to be four decimals. For example, when I'm rounding this number right here, I didn't start counting, or I started counting right here at the zero, right? This was my first decimal place, my second, my third, my fourth decimal. When I'm rounding to significant digits, I need to start counting at my first non-zero digit. So these first two zeros here do not count. Now this six is my first significant digit. This three is my second significant digit. The seven is my third. And this one is my fourth. So I am still looking to the number to the right. So the number behind it, which is this two, and that two is gonna make this one stay. So this would be zero, zero, six, three, seven, one. So even though this says to four significant digits, this one actually has six decimal places 
because these first two zeros and technically this third one do not count as my first significant digit. Now, when I come over here to whole numbers, when I was again rounding to four decimal places, it always, always starts at that first digit behind. And so this zero right here counted as that first decimal place. So we went one, two, three, four. Now that I have a whole number in front, this two is my first significant digit. So then it's okay. It's just the first non-zero, everything behind that first non-zero counts as a significant digit. So this zero still counts as a significant digit, that second zero, and then my fourth significant is that five. So I'm gonna look behind, it's a one. So it's gonna make that five stay. So this will be 20.05. So when I round to four decimal places, you can see it's always four numbers behind that decimal. When I round to four significant digits, there, there's not a number of decimal places that I could use. And this one, it's six, and this one, it's only two. So it just kind of depends. So let's keep going, and we're just going to go back and forth between these two. I'm going to do examples three and four, and then I'm going to pause the video, and I want you guys to try five and six on your own. Okay, so on five, if I'm rounding to four significant or four decimal places, we start counting behind the point. So that's seven, eight, five, three is my fourth decimal place. I'm going to look at the number behind it, and it's that six. That six is going to make that three go up. So nothing in front of that is going to change. I don't know if I have enough room to write this number. Okay, and then we'll have point seven, eight. Five, but that three goes up to a four because of that six behind it. Now rounding to four significant digits, this three is my first significant digit. So we have second one is that one, the third is that seven, and the fourth is the eight. So when I round this one to four significant digits, this will be a hundred or 317,000, this four is gonna make this eight stay. So eight, I can't just stop there because that's only 3,178, but it's actually 3, 317,800. We'll put zeros behind it to keep it in the same place value. Okay, and if you wanted a point zero behind, you could put that, but not necessary. Okay, four, four digits here. After that decimal, we have one, two, three, four. So look at the one behind it and it's an eight. So it's gonna make that four round up. So this one becomes point seven nine zero five. Okay, rounded to four significant digits. That zero does not count because we need to start counting at the first non-zero digit. The seven is my first one. So because that first significant digit is the first decimal place, it's really gonna be this number all over again. That's the first significant digit, second, third, fourth. So we're looking behind at that eight. We already know that eight makes that four round up to a five. So this rounded to four significant digits is the exact same because that first non-zero digit is that first decimal. Okay, so as you can see here, no matter what, when I round to four decimal places, and that's not always always true, but it has happened so far. When I round to four decimal places, I have four decimals. I've got four digits after that decimal place. But when I round to four significant digits, there's no telling how many decimals I can have. And this one I have six, and this one I have only two, and this one I have none, and this one I have four. So it can be any kind of range of numbers. I want you guys to try to pause the video and see if you can round uh, five and six correctly.
All right, I hope you had time to pause the video. So let's check your answers here. Here's what we should have got for five and six. So for right here, rounding to four decimal places, we've got one, two, three, four is the six right here. Looking behind it is that nine, which makes that six go up to a seven. For significant digits, we start counting at this one. This is the first significant digit. Here's the second significant digit. That zero still counts as the third. And my fourth is that seven. So we look behind it at that six. That six is gonna make that seven go up to an eight. So even though this is four significant digits, this is only three decimal places. Over here, rounding to four decimal places, that zero counts. We've got one, two, three. Here's my fourth digit is that seven. Looking behind it, that three makes that seven stay. For significant digits, we don't start counting until that five. So there's my first significant digit is that five. So then the nine is my second. The third is the seventh, or is the number seven. And my fourth significant digit is that three. So we're looking at that seven behind. That seven makes that three go up to a four. So here, four significant digits means five decimal places.